quick e break in fourth gear not yeah this thing just has so much power I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerking shawty Throwing money on her own, I call it independent shawty What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7 Looking at this beautiful wad body ZL1 Camaro So here today to try to do something a little bit interesting We, we have this ZL1 twin turboed up to about uh, almost 1100 horsepower. We're gonna try and tackle Dubai in one try with uh, no redos, and we're gonna try and drift Dubai in this thousand, a little over a thousand horsepower twin turboed wide body ZL1 Camaro, and uh, we're gonna try to do it in cockpit view as well. And then uh, we'll take a look at the cinematic replay as well afterwards to see you know what it actually looks like. So we're gonna go. Hop in to our free play. Dubai Circuit. Uh, I believe I have it already set up for one lap. One lap drift Dubai. I believe that's going uphill. So, uh, let's do it. So you guys are enjoying Forza Motorsport 7 since it has been out for a while. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, I will be doing a video here soon about my wheel setup and, you know, from where it started to where it is today. Uh, and uh, some tutorials about, you know, maybe tuning some cars here in Forza 7. You know, getting some good drift builds going and trying to dial in a car that is consistently driftable. All right, we're here at Dubai Circuit in our over 1,000 horsepower twin turbo ZL1 Camaro with our Logitech G920, Logitech G920 shifter, custom hydraulic handbrake, 350 millimeter Energy Innovations minty green and narrow Nero chrome, <laughs> minty green Nero chrome wheel in our Energy Geo black seat, and we're gonna drift this thing in first person. Haven't done a lot of drifting in first person, so yeah, bear with me if we do crash. We're going to try not to. We're going to try this in one take. And uh, I've drifted this car on other tracks with none really here at Dubai. So, kick this in. Oh, boy. Okay. So, not bad. Hitting the third. Little bump. Stay off the dirt. This car just has so much power. Oh my gosh, it's just lighting up race tires because I am on race tires and I believe I have them down to like 26 in the rear and such. So, Ooh, kick it in right on that wall. We're gonna tap that wall. There it is, just tap. We kind of kept it going though, so not too bad. We are probably going to run this downhill as well. Come on. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that turn fully. So, we did have one mess up. Not completely horrible, so we'll just clutch kick it in third. And it'll just light up those race tires right away. Like I said, I haven't done much drifting in first person, so here on Forza 7 yet. So this is a new thing for me, as well as haven't brought this car to Dubai, so nor have I really drifted on Dubai yet. So this is a, definitely a, a new thing for me. Got some fireworks going off in the background. Laying the throttle, there we go. Get onto that wall. Don't touch it. Ooh. See, in third gear, this car just wants to let the tires loose. So we saved that, though. Didn't look pretty, but we saved it. And snap back over steer. Oh, well, so much for trying to get this like perfect. So tap the wall. bit on the brakes uh, I couldn't see where the back end was 
So, drifting in first person, definitely a uh, bit of a challenge, I would say. There we go. Feather in the throttle. Fourth, because I know... Thing has so much power because we are on race tires so this is definitely incredible to just smoke these race tires oh uh, I thought we'd be slick on that but we weren't A little tunnel run Kind of gets a little disorientating here in first person, but we're good. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so not completely bad. We're gonna have to watch the replay to see how horrible it was. See what kind of angle we got, and then we'll probably switch up and go downhill with this section. And I lost my wing at some point. So let's uh, take a look at the replay of this. I, I don't know if I really want to, but we're going to anyways. Get a little uh, aerial view of this. And that Z01, the first turn wasn't too bad. Quick e-brake in. Fourth gear, not... Yeah, this thing just has so much power. That looks pretty sweet though. So if you guys have drifted Dubai and, you know, what car did you guys use? Oof, right in that gutter. Did you guys use a huge horsepower car? Did you guys use, like, all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive? This is, you know, over a thousand horsepower rear-wheel drive, so... Something I really wanted to try doing, and this car is just a mean, mean girl. And this backfires and cracks. Ooh. That was a nice view. It's a lock-up entry. Oh, right on that wall. I think that was the wall tap. That was, might have been the wall tap. Maybe it was up here. Not a bad line. It almost looks like it's all the drive because of how sideways I was getting it, and that's when we got hooked up on the front wheel or the front bumper. But you just hear the cracking, you know, echoing from the mountains. There we go. The The camera view here in Dubai is actually really good to see. Like right there. That's a really nice view of coming in tandems with people. That would have been extremely good. So I think we're going to switch it to uh, third person when we drift it downhill. Just to see, you know, maybe if we can get it a little bit better. Because first person is definitely hard. Going through this turn is so nice with all the fireworks. We're able to save that though with a little clutch kick. Ooh, right up on that wall. All right, so now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go to, we're gonna click restart. We're gonna go to the downhill version of it and we're going to uh, switch it up probably to third person and see, yep, yep, I got first. I'll take my winnings and my XP because I was the only one on the track. If you guys haven't tried drifting Dubai in a huge horsepower rear wheel drive car, I definitely recommend trying it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, takes a little bit of uh, throttle control for sure. So we're going to switch this to the downhill version. Yep, we're going to have to switch that out. It's funny how it has to reload even though it's the same track, we're just changing directions. Never understood that, but you know. So we're gonna also switch to third person, see how we can do in third person with this car. This car is a handful. Dubai circuit, reversed, thousand horsepower, over a thousand horsepower, Z ZL1, third person, race tires. Let's go. A wing already flexing. Oh, 
Oh my god, stay off that wall. We're good. Break a lot for this turn because I'm gonna go too hot. There we go. There we go. Good. Ooh, stay on track. We're gonna lose it. Just hear those turbos just popping. Stay out the sand. Got this sweeper coming up. Go. Ooh, just tap on that wall. We're good. Ooh, that was just a tap. Touch kick. Oh, I couldn't get on the brakes soon enough. And we lost our wing. I mean, we don't really need that big wing just flopping around, do we? Now, I think the downforce has definitely changed now, probably. It should have, anyways. Come to the uh, showstopper turn with all the fireworks. Right on the full hall. Oof. This thing is massively crazy Use the brakes no since we're going downhill I'm gonna try to use as much braking as I can not e braking it's got to be kind of easy on the throttle except for right there I should have Laid more into it. Oof. We're not going to make that. No. Nope. Somehow we didn't spin out, but we definitely completely botched that. And wrecked our car, but it's okay. We'll get another one once we restart. The crackles of this car are amazing. Final little section. Heavy on the brakes. And kick this in the fourth and just bang the sweeper out to finish off this lap. Oh, and then snap back. Wow, this car is definitely crazy, for sure. We didn't do too bad. We're going to take a look at the replay on that. I mean, there was a lot of uh, bad incidences, but overall, not a bad run in this car. Like I said, this car is over a 1,000 horsepower twin turbo, and it is just lighting up race tires. I hope it's going to switch views, Eric. Oh, I, was, I, was, I hope it's going to switch camera angles. Oh, I was hoping it would do a different angle through here. Maybe it's because it's a tunnel. Maybe it'll switch out once it gets back outside. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. So it did switch. It was because it was in a, it was in the tunnel. It didn't have any outside views. Although it is pretty cool seeing it, all that sand. From hood view. That was just a clutch kick. No e-brake involved with that one. There's a huge e-brake lock up. A little bit of e-brake pull. Just tap. Just just a little tap. This car is so mean sounding. Just the echo from the mountains here in Dubai is incredible. They've done a really good job with all the sounds in the game. 
That's when we lost our wing already. And totally lost grip on the car. Just the sheer sounds of this car. I thought we were going to spin out with that, but we didn't. We were able to hold that somehow. Not as much angle as I had hoped, but it is cool seeing all the fireworks through that turn. I got to reset those every time, too. Every time we go through it. I think this is where we popped up and got airborne through one of the transitions. Yep, right there. <laughs> airborne. We're good. There's a lot of brake though. No handbrake because going downhill did need handbrake. The fact this isn't gets massive amount of angle and it is just real wheel drive, so this Dubai circuit is definitely a test on all cars. It will test the car because of the elevation changes, the drifting, the, the corners, it, it just it's definitely a test on cars. Well, that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7 in our over 1,000 horsepower ZL1 wide body Camaro. Uh, the car is definitely a handful. It was on race tires, so the fact that it can just smoke the tires on race tires is incredible. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe a specific car build on Dubai or any other circuits, let me know down in the comment section down below if you got a Forza Edition car you want me to try and do a drift build on. I've been more than happy to you know, do some uh, drift tutorials on cars that you guys want to you know make a drift car maybe we'll try and you know dial in a car here in an episode or two you know with showing you guys the exact settings parts and everything installed so until next time guys you know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below until next time guys i'd like to thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit i'm out